yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mama said when she the one, you gonna know off rip. If you no got questions. it, it ain't gonna happen. If you trade, it ain't gonna happen. I can't sit with or sit on somebody who has these qualities. So let's just jump straight into it, okay? These are no particular order at all whatsoever. So I don't want you to think, oh, one way is more than the other now. Like all of money, that no money on social media. <laughs> I do it every time. On social media, like, that's like, Ew, you know, like, ew. Because, A, niggas with money ain't out here flashing their money. Believe it. Like, they're not on social media flashing their money. That shit is not attractive. That shit ain't cute. Like, you telling me, obviously, that you don't know nothing about getting no money because when you get it, what you gonna do? You gonna flash it. That's how you get robbed. Like, I don't like that shit. I don't like that, that flashy, like, look at me, I got money, I got money. Half the time, you niggas don't have no money. You done borrowed that money from your homeboys. Like, or you just got paid. Like, no. Like, stop. Like, that shit is just so ugh. Flash your money. And if I count it, and this comes up to what? My car note? Hey, baby, what, what, what is that? What, what is that? We flash another but 20s and 10s and 5s and 1s that come up to like three, four hundred dollars. Woo. What is that gonna do? What is what is three, four hundred dollars? Why is you flashing it? Why are you flashing it? That's just like enough. No. And turn off. Niggas who lie just turn me off all the way. It only takes you one time to lie to me that I know of. This little thing gonna dry up. This is like, mm, mm mm. Hell is you lying for? I don't like that lying stuff. It's just like, for what? For what? If I ask you something and that's what it is, then tell me that's what it is. If that's what you did, then say that's what you did. Hell you lying for? Lying? Pisses me off. It's just like, why are you lying? Like, why are you lying? Why? Why? What, what you lying for? That, uh, that, that's a turn off. Like, it's just like, like, that's how I feel about it. I, that's all I hear. So turned off from men with multiple baby mothers. Like, that is a, I don't care. I don't care. Like, no. That already shows me a pattern, dog. Like, nah, I'm okay. I don't, I don't want no parts of that. I don't, I don't even want to do the guy one baby mama, to be honest with you. I don't. I don't, but to have multiple, mm-mm, mm-mm. Nigga, where you got these baby mamas for? Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? And just to like, further more dig into that, more so, having kids and not taking care of them. Like, that is such a big ass turn off. It's just like, cause I think like, okay, if somebody has kids and I'm dealing with this person, I'm a forward thinker. I think forward, ahead, future. I don't see tomorrow. No, I see a year from now, two years. I think in the future. So if I see that you have kids or a child that you don't do shit for, what I'm going to do with you? What am I going to do with you? I'm not with you to make the time go by. Like, I'm not with you. I'm with you because I'm trying to invest into you. You know what I'm saying? And if you ain't doing nothing for the child you already got, well, what the hell am... What you think you gonna do with me? Do the same thing. Like, no. That's not gonna happen. Ew, what are you talking about? You got kids and you don't do nothing for them. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You got kids and you, ain't, you don't never see them. What are you talking about? Your child ain't see you in I don't know how long. What are you talking about? But you out here trying to get some pussy. You out here trying to holler at girls. Have you hollered at your child? Have you seen your child? Do you spend time with your child? No! What am I gonna do with you? That's a turn off. Like, you are a punk ass nigga. Ain't no grown ass man. Man, I'm 23. I don't need no little dick ass nigga. No, I need a cold grown man out here. So if you do got kids and you try to holler at me, you better be taking care of them. But if you got like most baby mamas, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't think I can. Nah. This one right here, nigga. This one right here, I don't care. Like, having trust issues. It's a big turn off to me. I get, you know, people have done it. 
wrong, you know, people have broken your heart, people just want to treat you, you know, to the body. I get all that, I truly do. We all got a story, we all have been hurt, we all have been played, we all have been treated like shit, we all have been treated less than what we were, we all have been through that. Okay, that's fine and dandy. However, what you're not gonna do is take your trust issues from somebody else. I ain't got nothing to do with it because you ain't dealt with it and put it on me. Like, no, you got trust issues, you need to take your ass to a therapist or whatever you need to do because you got trust issues and you're fully aware of them and you don't even try to fix it. So what the hell are you gonna do if we have issues? You can't even fix the issues within your damn self. You can't. So what the hell are you gonna do with me? What? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? You're not gonna do anything. Meaning you're wasting my time. It's just like, no, like, trust, like you need to get over that shit. Like, get over it. We all got a story. So what? I'm not saying I have, you know, trust it in and everybody like, hey, I trust you. No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is, if you know you have trust issues, you don't need to be out here trying to fuck with nobody. You want to talk to somebody. You want to be with somebody. You're trying to get with somebody. But you don't even trust yourself to trust them because of what somebody else did. What the fuck is that? You need to be by yourself. Figure out what the issue is. Attack it head on. And then you can try to holler at somebody. That's a turn off. You tell them you're talking about I got trust issues. I don't give a fuck what you got. I don't care. Well, fix it. Niggas, they don't do nothing but talk. That hits a nerve that I just can't figure out where it's at. I hate a nigga don't do nothing for do, 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 and two, and talk, and I'ma do this, and I'ma do that, and I'ma show you this, and I'ma show you that, where do this, and I'ma do this. All that breath, and all that energy, and to stay in what you want to do, instead of doing it, it's just like, well, nigga, well, are you going to do it? Because you only got one time. To show me that you're not about what you say you about. And I'm going to treat you like a trick ass hoe every time after that. It's really no reverting back. So it's just like, don't keep telling me what you're going to do. Nigga, show me. And if you ain't going to show me, shut your ass up. Nine times out of ten, when you say you're going to do these things, you already know for a fact if you're going to do it or you're not. So, when you sit up here and tell somebody you're going to do something, constantly tell people, oh, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to do that, and you never do it. Ooh. Ooh. Like, don't nobody want to fuck with that? Give me something. Because if you don't give me something, I'm going to get something to somebody else. And that's just how that's go. That's just how it go with me. Inconsistency. Drive me up. <laughs> like, no, it's, it's inconsistency. Like, what, what's, what's, so, what, what's so appealing about that? You here today, you're not here tomorrow. You text back today, you don't text back tomorrow. One day you cool, one day you mad, one day you here, one day you there. It's just like, you all over the damn place. And I ain't got time to be all over the damn place. I gotta be in one central location at one time, you know? So, you jumping all over the place, one day you wanna be around, one day you won't. That shit don't do nothing for me except for, you know, make me go get another nigga, cause that's exactly what the hell I'ma do. Do you think I'm about to sit up here and waste my energy with an inconsistent niggas when there's, I don't know how many niggas in each social media on each of these DMs begging to even have this number. What the fuck is you talking about? But you're not talking to the girl that you want to talk to or the dude or whatever. Who the hell you think they talking to? Who, who the hell you think I'm talking to? Because I sure as hell ain't talking to Jesus alone. So that is just it. Just shows that you're not serious about this. You're not really trying to get to know me. So, I'm not even going to put my energy into you. Like, I'm really, really not. I'm just going to be like, okay. All right. I see where this is at. And that's cool. You can be inconsistent all you want. But you're going to be it all the way over there with somebody else. Because don't bring this shit over here to me. When you feel like you could be inconsistent with me, you telling me, bitch, we're going to talk when I feel like it. And no. <laughs> that ain't what we're going to do. No. I said, I know I said like these aren't in special order, but if I had to rank them, I don't know how I'll rank the rest, but this would be no more. It's like cheating, being a cheater, obey, 
if you know me, you know how I feel about cheating. I don't mess with it. I don't fuck with it. I don't understand it. I ain't got time for it. And I won't put up with it. I won't deal with it. I'm not doing it. I don't know why other females be putting up with dumb shit. I don't know why you niggas be putting up with the dumb shit. Cheating is a process. Cheating is not a mistake. Cheating is not a mistake. So I'ma tell you why, I'ma tell you why cheating turns me off so fucking much. You don't just wake up and slip on the dick. You know? You don't just wake up and slip the dick in somebody else. You don't they, they don't just happen. There's steps that were taken to get you to this point. Things had to happen in order for it to happen and for you not to find out. That's all. So if I had a boyfriend and he went out of cheating on me, right? You and that person had to have some type of conversation. And I promise you, I doubt if it was just me. Meaning, the conversations had to be had leading up to. You know, it had to be, it had to be happening for at least weeks. Weeks, God forbid, months, like time. You don't just, hey, I want to fuck you, let's fuck. That's not typically how it goes. It's like a, it builds up. Like It starts off a little flirting, a little this, that, and third. So while all this is going on and you're with somebody, every day you're playing two different people because you're one person with the person that you're cheating with and then you have to, you know, disguise that person and then come back to the person you with and act like that never happened. So you telling me there were days where that person went whole lot cheated on you, fucked a whole nother person, came back to you and you had no clue and they acted like nothing ever happened. You know? That is a process. It was a process for you to get your ass over there. It was a process over there for you to start fucking somebody. It was a process. It was a process and you did not stop and think about the person that you were with. And what makes it even worse that even if you did stop, you kept going. So that's even worse. That's one thing I just can't deal with. Because you're telling me you didn't give a fuck. I don't know how y'all girls do it. I don't know how you do it. I don't know how y'all do it. I don't know how you put up with that shit. I don't. He said, fuck you. That's what he said. I just want to let you know. If your nigga cheated on me and you still with him, that nigga just said, he said, fuck you. Yeah, I got a girl. Okay. So, I'm going to go fuck this girl and I'm going to come back to you. And like, ain't nothing happened. So, you got to realize that when he got caught was not when it happened. Now it's how I tell you, you don't get caught the same day you cheat on somebody. So think about that. There was a day, the first day that it happened, this nigga really went out and fucked on somebody else, came back to you, and you had no clue. You had no clue. And let that shit marinate in your mind. I can't do it. That's, a, that's just something for me is a no, no. You got one time cheat on me. You got, I don't give a fuck how long we been there. I don't care how much I love you. I don't love putting in niggas. And I don't love none of them now. So, oh well. I don't care how long we know each other. You obviously didn't give a shit, so why should I? I don't care how much you're gonna hurt me. I don't care how attached we are. I don't care. I don't give a damn if we got kids. I don't give a damn. I don't. You didn't give a damn when you did what you did? Please. That, that shit just don't. I don't know. I've never been cheated on. But if I did, you know, and I'm, I be saying niggas because, you know, that's what I'm used to saying. But, you know, this could be flipped the other way around. Bitches ain't shit to you. Know your worth. Don't settle. Don't put up with bullshit. Especially if you in a good space, man. Like, no. If you in a good space, then, hey, you going to bring in some bullshit for me. You put no one that shit. You ain't going to be Make sure you like and subscribe, you know what I'm saying? Keep being great. I don't know, but just, damn it, just don't sell it. That's all I can tell you. If you don't sell it, I promise you by the end of the No, I ain't gonna say that because I could be lying to you. No, I ain't gonna say that. But just don't sell it. So I gotta go because I gotta eat and yeah. Bye.